so hello everyone welcome to the video and in this video I will be demoing a simple chatbot application which I built using Trello and uh, OpenAI's ChatGPT so it's just like a healthcare bot uh, in, a patient uh, with any language uh, can communicate with the doctor and the messages will be automatically be translated so I'm just going to use my phone in order to type in my native language which is Tamil and uh, hopefully you should see things on the screen and I uh, will fast forward uh, if you don't want to you know wait when I'm typing so nothing is going to display on the right side so it's essentially uh, the chatbot is going to collect some information and uh, uh, if you can see here in my logs, so this is hosted in AWS. You can see here, so this is an EC2 server, and I'm just running my application as a Docker. And uh, everything which you see here is being sent by bot. So it's asking me, So it's just asking me to send my name, age, and uh, uh, gender. So I'm just going to type it now. So I just told it that my name is Ashik and uh, it's just trying to translate and uh, uh, gave me the response so it's asking me my age and gender so so I replied that my age is 30 and I'm a male so right here you can see it's getting translated and uh, it's saying that the patient is Ashik it's uh, his body is gender as male and his age is 30 and right now it's trying to collect some information regarding why i'm trying to visit the doctor so till now the doctor wouldn't have received anything so until i submit my information like my reason to visit the doctor it's not going to submit anything so i'm just going to read this chat so i'm just going to tell that i'm having some headache and fever for two days so so i told that i'm having headache and uh, i catch like i so i have like headache for two days and fever and saying so it's just uh, it will try to summarize what I've given it and uh, it will it's just ask me whether I want to proceed uh, and submit the information to the doctor. So I'm just going to say um, So it's just asking me whether I want to give further information. Is there anything I want to say to the doctor? I'm just going to say it's enough and you know, I want to submit so So I told the board that uh, so I'm just saying that you know it needs to send to the doctor and now you can see here that so it's just telling uh, it's just saying a thank you message and uh, you can see here the doctor has received the message that chat somebody Ashik as 30 years old male has been experiencing headache and fever for the past two days and has requested you to send his detail uh to the doctor so to reply to this patient please include the patient id uh so this so the reason why i included this patient id is because um see a doctor might receive two or three uh um you know messages from different patients so in order to target the the right patient uh he needs to include the id so patient id is going to be this and uh, i'm just going to say uh, what can I give? <laughs> so I'm just going to say like so I'm just telling uh okay I typed in English so basically I think you guys can see it uh so I'm just going to send the message now I should receive the translated message here yeah so Martha I will take it in. 
so yeah so that's it about the working of the application and if you see here this is the entire conversation which had happened so i can also show you the db uh like here so the patient information and chat summary and everything is being stored in mongodb so health linguist application so consultation doctor and patient summary is being stored here so if you check here in the consultation uh you can see that whatever has been discussed is saved here and i will also work it with the code for a while so so this is uh, so initially i developed this as a twilio functions but it, uh, the replies were taking some time like more than 10 seconds so that's why you can see the entire code base inside the function folder then i had to migrate it to aws since you know my replies were not uh, being processed within 10 seconds from Twilio server so right now uh, if you see here uh, this is the basic app js so this is the express starting point of the application so we are hitting this wa route and from here i am calling wa handler so this is the entire code um if i want to walk you through the code let me where i can start so so yeah so here there are this console log so wid is the phone number so i'm just checking whether it is uh, this message is from doctor so if it is from doctor i'm having a different handler for that so if it is not from a doctor i'm just trying to check if the patient is there so if it is not uh, present in the db i'm trying to create a new patient and this is just some error handling stuff and right now um so i have created multiple agents here so if you can see here so this is my entire AI folder so all these are like system prompts to um uh, calling uh open ai so i've created a utils folder inside here so this is the main uh open ai uh function the function which calls the open ai service so i've created a helper function kind of stuff so it will have a context and a message so context will be inside i mean the context is the one which is given as system context and message is the user message which will be provided and all these ai agents are going to call the open ai utility so everything if you see here it has a context and a user message yeah so the first agent which is getting called is a translation agent and it's it's going to check whether the message is already in english so if the message is already in english uh it won't be translating it and just uh it just gives the uh, whatever input as user provided is going to save it and it's going to identify the language and uh, it's going to save it as patient's preferred language and after that i'm going to uh, uh you know summarize the chat which is already there and collect basic details so this basic details check is another uh agent which is going to collect information like name age and gender so whatever uh the reply which we got from bot are not like hard coded stuff so since i've asked it to collect basic information like name age and gender uh it's it's collecting the so pair why the matron polynomial is like the name age and gender so if you give only one it's going to ask for the missing details so if you give name and age alone it's going to ask you a separate message to provide the gender information so that's what i mean it's entirely dependent on uh the context which you are giving it and after that where is it mm. so i'm just saving the chat summary again uh like whatever the user is providing uh it, so everything is getting stored in chat summary and after that we are calling medic agent so we have provided basic summary uh, i mean sorry basic details and after that we are getting uh we have to get some more information regarding uh, like why the patient won't visit uh, I mean, not visit literally. So, why the patient want to contact the doctor? So, it's going to uh, ha have this as JSON output. So, is submit is going to be boolean. So, this is something. Uh, this is the message which asked whether the the patient want to provide more information, like why is he visiting the. I mean, why why do you want to contact the doctor? Like, you want to visit? Uh, do you, does the patient want to give further information? Anything else the doctor needs to know? 
So until the patient is going to say, yeah, this is enough, uh, provide my submission to the doctor. So that is what I have said here. Uh, like, you know, we were in the lane of So it's basically like, no, just send whatever I provided to the doctor. And it's going to, uh, based on that, this value will be true or false. And once the value is true, I'm going to save that as a summary uh, again uh, in the chat summary. And whenever the, the board is going to reply to the patient, it's going to check whether the patient's preferred language is English or not. So if it is not English, it's going to send a translated message. So if it is already in English, we don't have to call the chat GPT, uh, I mean, the, G, the GPT model again uh, in order to translate. It doesn't make any sense. So I'm just going to reply what, what the board has said. So once this is done, uh, once uh, this is submit is going to be true. Yeah. Uh, I'm sending a chat message to doctor. So this is where the actual, uh, the transfer of message happens. So once you say like, uh, I want to send a message to doctor, uh, it's going to pick a doctor. So, so what I did is, uh, like we can have a list of doctors, say for example, if, if the patient is going to ask for, you know, hair or something related to skin or dermology, uh, it will choose the right doctor. So I've created another agent for that. Uh, so I will give it a list of doctors and based on patient summary and the list of doctor, the, the bot will decide like which doctor will be best suitable for the patient, uh, the patient's query. So that is something which happens here and it's going to choose a doctor and it's going to give me back a phone number. And after that, doctor response handler not this one send summary to doctor yeah so once it picks a doctor uh, get doctor phone number is going to basically call out the agent like i showed you so it's going to choose a doctor and once that is done i'm using quillo in order to send the message to doctor so once this is done uh, the doctor will receive a translated message so i don't know where is it yeah so the doctor is receiving a translated message here and uh, I mean, it's not translated. So for the doctor, it's always in English. I'm not translating things for doctor. I don't want to call that again and again, but if it's, that's also something which can be done, but I'm just uh, assuming that doctors are going to understand English. So that's it. And uh, I have a patient ID. Uh, so like I already said, if doctor wants to reply to multiple patients and if he's going to uh, receive multiple uh, queries from multiple patient in order to target the uh, reply to that specific patient you have to include this uh, patient ID in the chat so that is something which will be identified by the AI model so doctor message handler so here if you see I have uh, I'm just saying identify the patient ID given by the doctor in the message so like it will be a six digit character something like this and uh, <clears throat> So once that is done, uh, the doctor needs to provide some reply and that will be summarized and that gets sent to the target patient. So if you check here, doctor response handler, uh, you can see something like, you know, I'm just trying to get the patient by ID. So easy ID is not the MongoDB actual UUID. It's the six digit ID which I've created. And uh, I'm just trying to get the phone number of the patient and you know whatever doctor has sent. Uh, as a summary that gets sent to the patient and before that uh, we are checking again whether the patient uh, has preferred any other language other than English so if that's the case I'm going to translate and send the reply in the preferred language yeah so that is it about the application um, hope um, things are clear here thank you